Hello and welcome Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Welcome to your week ahead horoscopes with me Intuitive Renee. We are doing the week of the 5th to the 11th of June 2023 and on the table here in front of me I am working with the Forest of Enchantment Tarot which I know is a firm favorite amongst many of you and I'm also going to be working with my charms this week. So you may have noticed that I didn't do a video for you last week. I had no voice. Um, and um, yeah, I could have recorded, but it would have just been squeak, 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 and that would not have been useful to any of you. So unfortunately, there was no video. So to make it up to you this week, I thought I would throw in some charms, because I know you all enjoy, and I haven't actually worked with my charms in quite some time. So water signs, let's get straight into your reading. Let's give the tarot a shuffle. And as I am shuffling the tarot, we are asking for guidance, support, inspiration, and motivation for the week ahead. For all Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energies, we are looking at the week of the 5th to the 11th of June 2023. What do you need to know? What is important and significant for the week ahead? What are the energies that you're going to be navigating and dealing with? for this week for all water signs cancer scorpio and pisces please 5th to the 11th of june 2023 okay happy with the shuffle cutting the deck and card number one that we have for you oh that's interesting right so card number one is suspension and it's already made an appearance this week in this same position for one of the other signs we have the child of spells we have the Forge, and we have the Nine, oh gosh, look how skew I am, let me put those down first, the Nine of Visions, right, let's make some space, I'm leaving space above to put the Charms, there we go, I think that's okay, right, so Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the week starts off with the card of suspension in traditional tarot, that would be the hanged man, okay? It is a major arcana card. We have a um, court card. We have another major arcana card, and then we have a normal minor arcana card. So suspension or the hanged man is basically saying to you, this is not a week to take things at face value. This is a week where we have to dig a little bit deeper. This is a week where we have to explore what's lying beneath the surface because things are not always as they seem. So it isn't. if you take things at face value this week, I think you're going to find yourself not succeeding, not achieving, and not feeling fabulous. But if you look at everything through different eyes and through the eyes of curiosity, okay? So a child of spells, a child is the page and spells is cups. So it's the page of cups. So this is the card of curiosity. This is the card of, you know, just wanting to, to see what's there, not being afraid, not getting too caught up in our, in our thinking, not getting too caught up in our ways of understanding life and circumstance, but also not taking things at face value by exploring, by wanting to dig a little bit deeper. So it's very important that you do this week, this week. So if things, you know, even if it's something you've done a thousand times before, even if it's something, if, if it's your normal, even if it's part of your average, your standard, don't take things at face value this week. Don't assume that things are as they appear, okay, because you're gonna set yourself up for failure. It is a very, it's very important, all right, uh, water signs, it's very important this week that we make sure that we put just the right amount of effort into everything that we do. Because if we take things at face value, we're never going to explore and uncover and learn the things that we need to, and things will never become its full potential. So with the forge, now, I have never been a forger. I have never been somebody who has tempered metal before or who has tried to forge anything out of anything. That is not my skill. That is not something. But if it's something that you've done, you know that the, there's taking a chunk of metal and there's working with it to a point um, where the metal is as strong and as powerful and as great and as fabulous and as sharp as it can be. But if you keep going and if you keep pushing, if you keep pushing boundaries, eventually you push too far and it snaps. Um, or it loses its strength or whatever it may be. So we need to make sure that we are pushing the envelope, pushing the boundaries, looking to see what's underneath, being curious about how far can I take it, being curious about what can I do with all of this, where can it take me, what can I achieve, but understanding that there is a limit 
okay understanding that, that there is a limit on what you can do and how you can do it and if you keep pushing too far it could be through stubbornness it could be through um i want to call it enthusiasm and, and just trying to understand what you can do but it could also be just sometimes we are so after perfection that we actually miss perfection and we end up destroying everything so there's a very fine line between perfection and disappointment all right so that's what that's what the forge or temperance is basically saying to you and then our final tarot card that we have is the nine of visions and here we are inside of a wishing well and there is a coin a wish being made um, and it is about your wishes coming true so all in all we have very positive very favorable cards okay so what you need to understand is that don't take it at face value explore your options but not too far and constantly believe that everything's going to work out because it absolutely will i mean i love that short sweet and to the point it really is but now let's add some charms to the mix and see how they want to elaborate or expand on the messages that we already have so water science let's start off with suspension the hanged man so what do the charms want to add to hanged man to suspension i'm just going to grab one or two Okay, so the first charm that I have, if I can get it the right way, is a butterfly, which is about change and transformation. Okay, and the second one I have is, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it is just four blocks of color that are, okay, I'm going to go that it goes from um, light to dark. Okay, so it is about the the blend or what's the word I'm looking for ombre is the word in my head okay but it's about that that change from one level to the next so I'm going to take them as steps and I'm going to take them as steps of change steps of transformation there we go but we need to remember we need to always be looking underneath the surface don't take things at face value remember butterfly started out as a worm nobody likes worms <laughs> I don't like worms right nobody likes worms and we, just because you start out as a worm doesn't mean that that's the life that you're destined to live because a worm eventually goes into cocoon and emerges as a butterfly but it has to go through the steps it has to go through the process we cannot go from worm to butterfly without the cocoon stage without dissolving into goo before emerging as something different so don't take things at face value don't take things at first glance we need to understand that there is so much more going on and if you don't look deeper you're never going to see all that there is you're never going to achieve and appear and experience all that there is for you let's have a look at our child of spells which is about enthusiasm and bravery and excitement and curiosity okay again i managed to get two and the first one we have also a charm that's made a appearance already this week and it is a whale tail which is always a sign of good luck and good fortune if you're out in the ocean and you happen to see a whale it is quite phenomenal quite an experience and then we have a little bird and i do think that this is a swallow which is a bird that normally signifies the coming of rain i think so interesting that we've got the water and uh, the ocean water and then we've got the rain so the child of spells as i said to you is the page of cups which is about curiosity it is about looking further exploring what there is but it's also about understanding cups is emotion water is emotion you're all water signs so and we've got the two water elements that are coming through there so understand that there are things that are going to be like wow there are things that are going to be like oh my gosh that is amazing to be able to have seen that and to be able to experience that and to be able to find that it's not something that everybody gets to experience it is special it is truly wonderful so it's about appreciating and enjoying the opportunities and the things that you experience this week but it's also about understanding that sometimes the rain comes and with the rain uh, i'm just trying to think with the rain it obviously puts a dampener on things but then once the rain has passed everything is clearer brighter more beautiful so if things don't quite if your curiosity leads you a little bit astray and you find yourself in the rain you find yourself in the downpour know that it is temporary know that it's not going to last long and as soon as it's done everything is going to be crystal clear you're going to be able to go out and explore and experience and appreciate again but in the meantime if it is raining stay indoors stay dry stay safe and know that everything's going to be okay let's have a look at our forge temperance card let's see what charms 
want to come through for temperance. I just want to give them a good mix. I don't know how many I've got. Three, but I dropped one. Oh, I've got dust. Let's get rid of the dust. We have, we have, I don't know if you're going to see this one. It looks like a dove with a, a leaf in its mouth. So that is the dove of peace. And we also have a Hawaiian shirt, I think it is. A shirt with flowers on it. A Hawaiian holiday shirt, right? <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So, temperance is telling you, remember that if you're pushing the boundaries, if you're pushing the envelope, if you're trying to get the most out of something, there is a, a maximum, there is a limit, and if you keep pushing beyond that, suddenly you push too far and suddenly everything goes completely pear-shaped. So if you make a mistake, if you do, then this is just about an apology and acceptance. This is the, the, the dove of peace is about saying to you, you know, offer the olive branch, offer offer the, the, the hand of apology to know that everything is going to be okay and take a break. All right, because maybe the reason why things aren't quite working out the way they should is because you're pushing too hard. You're trying too hard, okay? And if you take a break, take five minutes, go and have a cup of coffee, go walk around outside, go look at the birds, go take a day off from work, go and go and have your hair done. You know, do something to bring happiness and joy into your life. Because if you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, things will eventually snap. So it is about pacing yourself. It is about acknowledging when things don't go quite go right. Um, and be the first to admit, I made a mistake. I pushed too hard. I pushed too far. I shouldn't have done that. Acknowledge what you've done. Acknowledge that you've pushed too hard. And then take a break. Because otherwise, you're just never going to get through what you need to get through. And remember, your wishes and your dreams are going to come true. So let's see a charm around wishes and dreams. That will come true for you. Or oh, only one. And we have got a arrow with a heart on the end. Can you see that? So there's the little heart and it's a pointing arrow. And what is that saying to you? It's saying to you, aim for your dreams. Aim high, but still don't push too hard. Don't push too far. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Spirit are basically saying to you this week, don't take things at face value. Understand that there are steps that we need to go through in order to emerge the way that we want and need. But if you take things at face value, you're going to be very disappointed. Curiosity is a good thing. Really celebrate and appreciate when things work out well for you. And if there is a temporary disruption, if there is a temporary delay, it's okay. Things will work out perfectly. Actually, things will work out better after the temporary delay. There is a limit to how far you can push yourself, your situation, and your circumstance. If things go wrong, if you make a mistake, mistake, be the first one to admit it, be the first one to say so, but give yourself a chance to relax, to have a break as well before you continue. Otherwise, you're going to be making more and more and more apologies. Your wishes, your dreams will come true as long as you do stay focused. And as long as you keep aiming towards them, everything is going to be fabulous. So water signs, I do hope that you have an amazing week ahead. Thank you for being with me, as always, with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, take care, friends.